So we're continuing with the Concord Commons project here and we're, we've left off here at step four. So I'm going to save this. So do a save as command and we'll save this as step five. And what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is creating a right of way for all of these alignments so that we can start to divide all of these existing parcels. So the right of way is where the roadway is going to be. It's also um, where the city would control so they can put their pipe networks, whether it's water or storm sewer. Um, and it's just an area that the people who buy in this neighborhood would not be able to uh, actually build in. So the right of way may initially consist of just a roadway and in the years down the road they may think they need a sidewalk um, and they could put that inside of their right of way as well. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is under our parcel command we want to go to this create right of way and we want to pick up all of our parcels. So this right away is going to interfere with all of these three parcels that we have. When we select them, we'll hit enter and it brings up our dialog window here. The offset from alignment is going to get increased to 25 feet. The cleanup at parcel boundaries, we want to use 25 feet and we want to make sure we've got fillet selected and then clean up at alignment intersections. Let's increase this to 35 feet and also use fillets. And what you can see now is that our our parcel got a bit smaller and it's uh, outlined by this right away. So we have a 25 foot offset on each direction. At intersections we've got a radius of 35 feet. Um, so here it, it goes out to 35 feet as well. And uh, over here we, we have a little bit of work to do yet. This just kind of dead ends and, and what we want to do now is actually put in a, a cul-de-sac here. Um, so if we do a refresh on our parcels you can see we've got uh, property one, two, three. Um, we've got four, five, and six as well that came from the right-of-way. So the last thing we want to do in this tutorial is deal with this dead end street here. We're going to put in a cul-de-sac. So we're going to zoom in and do a little bit of line creation and then we're going to do some parcel editing. Uh, so what we want to do is go to the home tab here and go to the draw command and we're going to do a center circle and a diameter. So we're going to snap to the end point of this line and use a diameter of 100 feet and then under circle we're going to go to tangent tangent radius and specify the circle and the existing right away and a radius of 35 feet and we'll do that once more on the other side and now what we want to do is a little bit of cleanup using the trim command so we'll trim and we'll just select all objects as our trimming surfaces and just carefully pick away the features that we no longer need for the cul-de-sac. Once that's done we want to create a parcel from these objects so we'll go to parcel from object and we'll pick the cul-de-sac lines and we're going to erase the existing entities and you can see we have a, a new property here. Um, so what we want to do is go to the parcel creation tools and fix this up a little bit. We're going to use the delete subentity and we want to delete these objects here from the previous uh, ending of that roadway. And now if we zoom out a bit and look at this property 6, it is in fact all one property line here uh, which is what we want. So now we have our alignments, we've got our right-of-ways, we've got our cul-de-sacs, and we've got the three main parcels that we're going to be divvying up into uh, the, uh, the commercial lots here, or into the residential lots. So I'm going to just refresh my parcels and do a save. And we'll continue on in the next tutorial.